Greetings. My name is Mark Amata Pinkham, and I am the director of the Order and Mystery School of the Seven Rays. I'll be your host during this presentation on the Peacock Angel, creator of the universe. We in the Order and Mystery School of the Seven Rays are dedicated to bringing you complete and easy to understand video presentations such as this one that as accurately as possible reveals the true history of the human race on Earth much or most of which has been hidden. If you'd like to be alerted of any new videos we produce, please click on the subscribe button below and click the bell. In this, visit, in this uh, video presentation, I'll offer you information that uh, is taken from my book, Sacred Geometry and the Creation of the Universe. Now these eddies, an ancient people of Northern Iraq were known as the people of the Peacock Angel. They claimed that the Peacock Angel created the universe and then made Earth his home and became king of the world. The Uzetis were the first of the 72 tribes destined to populate the planet created by the Peacock Angel. During the time of the Garden of Eden, the Peacock Angel instructed the 72 tribes how to worship and become one with God. The tribes then left for their appointed places on earth and for thousands of years continued the worship taught them by the peacock angel. But during this time, although the legend of the peacock angel in that he was the savior of humanity and the king of the world, even though this did not change, his name and form did change. Thus, in time, he became known by the Hindus as Sanat Kumara, by the Sumerians as Inki, by the Egyptians as Osiris, by the Greeks as Dionysus, and by the Hopis as Masao, and so forth. Yuzetis currently maintain that the peacock angel is known all over the world and is the glue that unites all the nations of the earth together. The peacock dragon creator of the universe the Peacock Angel also became known among the tribes as the creator of the universe. Within many of the tribes, his creative form eventually morphed into the form of a primal dragon. Now the dragon and peacock forms of the primal creator of the universe are interrelated. Many forms of the dragon throughout history possess peacock plumes, such as the Persian Samorg, on the top level um, to the left. And uh, this does indeed reveal the link between the dragon and peacock. Another dragon peacock hybrid is the phoenix of China, which is essentially a female dragon. And, and that's the, the second or the middle image on the top row. Two of the better known dragon forms that the creative peacock morphed into are Quetzalcoatl, the plume serpent creator of the Maya, and Enki, the goatfish creator of the Sumerians. According to his myth, Enki emerged out of the Apsu, which is a Sumerian name for the primal sea of consciousness that preceded the universe. His dragon symbol became the glyph of the zodiacal sign of Capricorn, which appropriately corresponds to the month of January, the first month of the year. According to the creation myth of the Kichimaya, Quetzalcoatl similarly emerged from the primal sea of consciousness and then moved upon the face of the waters. And he did so in that period that led up to the creation of the universe. Esoterically, the mystery schools taught that there were two parts to the dragon or peacock creator of the universe. These are the divine force or prana that constituted his bodily matrix and a divine mind that shaped the divine force into the countless shapes that eventually crystallized and became physical. With the two parts of the primal dragon or peacock working together, the body of the peacock creator eventually expanded and became the entire physical universe. 
Many symbols have been created over time to represent these two parts of the primal dragon or peacock. Foremost among them is the caduceus with its two spiraling and intertwining snakes. In sacred geometry, the two snakes are said to represent the twin golden mean spirals, which were the first manifestation of energy that emerged within the primal sea of consciousness. The two spirals emerged one after the other in the beginning stages of the creation of the universe, as you can see on your screen. Ultimately, they created a primal form inside a circle. Now, this is the form of the divine mind of the creator of the universe and the first form of the peacock angel. Within this divine mind form, the seven rays emerge as the seven colors to produce a figure that is nearly identical to the eye on a peacock feather. Although other sacred geometry forms have been called the seed of life, this form precedes them all and must therefore be acknowledged as the true seed of life. Since it possessed both divine mind and divine forth, it has to be said also that the cosmic peacock eye is also the womb of the universe. Its shape is perfectly reflected in the anatomy of the womb of a female. During the next stage following the creation of the divine mind, a line moves from the inner point of creation to the perimeter of the peacock eye in order to produce more eyes thereby beginning the multiplication process that culminates in zillions of peacock eyes that will occupy every square inch of the new universe. The heart of the new universe is created at this stage and its form perfectly reflects the human heart. Then in the following three steps, the form that is most commonly known in sacred geometry as the seed of life is formed. This is the next evolution in the form of the peacock annual. The seven circles that comprise the seed of life are the seven parts of the created dragon or peacock. These seven parts have been called the seven archangels or the seven great angels that the dragon or peacock creator is the synthesis of, or it's said that the, the parent of. One anthropomorphic form of the creator is the peacock angel's counterpart in India, Sanat Kumara or Kartikeya. Legend has it that Kartikeya was born with seven heads and one of them was either removed or became hidden and associated with the invisible spirit. Thus, he is typically portrayed with six heads. And just as the seven archangels are often recognized as the seven twin parts of the primal dragon, the six heads of Kartikeya, you'll see, are identical. The next stage in the creation process is the manifestation of the torus, which begins the 3D form of the CD, which begins as the 3D form of the seed of life you see at the top, and then multiplies itself to become the torus. And as the Taurus, the cosmic peacock expands to become the entire universe.
the intersections of the dual spirals in the matrix of the universal torus create spiraling galaxies. Many ancient cosmologists recognize that the body of the peacock angel creator expanded to become the universe and that the body of a live peacock reflects the shape of the cosmos. The peacock eyes on a live peacock whose body is a half torus are equally spaced along golden proportion spiraling lines and therefore reflect the spiraling galaxies that form at the vortices of the universal torus. These galaxies are both right and left spirals. Although one right or left spiral predominantly uh, or typically predominates. And now to complete this video presentation, I'd like to reveal to you that the peacock eye is also the blade of the Vel spear that's wielded by the peacock angel in his form of Sanat Kumara. Sanat Kumara is the archetypal spiritual warrior and he carries the Vel, which is the principal weapon of a spiritual warrior. The shaft of the Vel spear represents the human spine, path of the ascending Kundalini, and the blade denotes the third eye of wisdom that the kundalini activates. Thus, the best weapon a spiritual warrior has against any challenge in life is their own intuition, which is, the, which is their guidance from the invisible spirit. The blade of the veil, which is a crystallization of a peacock eye, is a microcosmic version of the peacock eye that at the beginning of time served as the divine mind of the universe. As mentioned, most of the information of this video is from my book, Sacred Geometry and the Creation of the Universe. You can purchase an autographed copy of the book at the web address below. For myself and those of us in the Order of Seven Rays, thank you for watching this video on the Peacock Angel, creator of the universe. Namaste.